Hello, I'm Rebecca J. Bowers, DO, and this is the first in an introduction to palpation um, series of videos that I've put together. I know that some of you um, starting out may not be able to um, be able to interact with people right now as far as depending where you're at and what your schools are doing. Um, and I didn't want you guys to fall behind. I want you to be able to start working on your palpation skills so that when you do get to put your hands on people, um, it will be easier for you to make sense of what you're feeling. Even if you are able to interact in a clinical setting um, right now, these are still useful exercises to help your brain break up different parts of palpation so that you can make sense of what's going on underneath your hands. Because the vast majority of us um, have very much in our lives utilized our visual senses and our verbal thinking senses, a lot of college learning um, and before college learning, high school, elementary, has been very much thinking with words, seeing things, um, having things explained to us, and not so often experiencing things. And even when we did, um, not necessarily in a palpatory clinical fashion. Um, so if you rode horses or did different sports or figure skating, etc., um, all sorts of different physical activities, you have engaged in experiential learning. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're going to use different parts of the brain than um, our verbal. But why do I have a book in front of me? Um, this particular book is uh, Touch the Sun, and it's a Braille book. And um, I do not expect you to be able to read Braille by the end of this series. I once sat for probably a good 16 hours trying to be able just to decipher uh, one symbol and could not um, do that. But what I wanted to point this out for real quick was just to point out, you know, look at the, just the very subtle little push out bits of paper and how there are thousands of people in this world who can literally just run their fingers across this and they don't have to think about the dots. They don't have to think about the papers. Their brain has adapted and literally just turns it into words inside their mind just as if you were looking at a page that had ink on it and you are turning that into pictures in your mind and it has meaning and can create emotional responses. So just little bits of something can have all sorts of effects on our brain. Now, most of us are not used to doing something like this, and even when people do learn Braille, it takes them a while to do that. So essentially, let's break down this palpation, and one of the first things I think is useful is to get a sense of gradients and creating a spectrum, a continuum of solid to liquid and kind of an in-between, because a lot of times, You'll learn different parts of the body and you'll think like, you know, this is bone and this is ligament and this is tendon and here are these different compartments. But when you put your hands on a person, you have to kind of feel through all of that. And we're not going to necessarily do much layered in this video, that'll be the next video. But getting a sense of the parts that make up the whole, sometimes it's useful to get a sense of the parts first. So what you'll need is some different types of sponges or here I have a little gauze pad that I cut so that it feels um, contrasting and your brain can kind of compare the more Brillo pad stiff, not very compressible, not very springing back into your hands versus this kitchen sponge that is very compressible and then springs back into my hands and feels more smooth versus rough. And then I like this gauze because it's kind of uh, something different, not quite like this, but definitely on the other side from this more stiff one. So take one of the softer ones and the harder one, and I'm not going to just sit here doing what you should do, because if I sat here not saying anything, it'd look pretty boring on a video, but I do encourage you to disengage that thinking verbal part and see if you can't get more in touch with the parts of your brain that are those experiential feeling parts. And just sit with it and see if you can't notice that compressibility and springing back at you and how it feels different. And just really get a sense and switch one out and compare it. And you're probably going to want to compare it longer than I'm doing, but like I said, I don't want to bore you on the video. So get, really get a sense of what do these ones feel like on their own and how they're different. Then what I have over here with these ones in bags 
is I took the same things, but I put some water in with it, with all of them. Um, this one doesn't soak up the water super well because of how it is different, but I can sit here and I compare this one to this one. If the bag is distracting to you, um, I guess you could not have the bag. That might be a little messy. I would encourage you to have the bag, but you could put these ones all in bags as well so that you're comparing, you know, uh, apple to apple being a little bit different and just get a sense of what's beyond the bag. Similar thing, get a sense of the water wet one versus the air, right? There's not that there's nothing in these sponges, it's air. So how does the air feel a little different than the water? And then I can compare between them as well. We're training our brain to be able to appreciate subtle nuances. And then this, these ones, what I did was I actually, in the office I just had hanging around some magnesium gel. So um, it took a bit more to saturate the sponges with the gel. I actually had to kind of massage it in, right? Water's more flowing and just goes into the little nicks and crannies and crevices. And the gel I had kind of had to put in there. So similar thing, I can compare between these ones. I can compare between these ones and get a sense of it. Then after you've started to get your brain acclimated to the difference in between these ones, you can play some games. Um, if these are in plastic bags, they can be part of the games. If not, it would be a little bit too obvious. So for my sake, I'm gonna move them out of the way because what I'm talking about is essentially you mix these ones up and you take a towel or blanket and you put it there and then you can go under and I can find one and I can try to guess, if, you know, which one do I think it is and you can get better at that. After you've done that for a bit, um, or even before, depending, then you can potentially stack these in different combinations and try to get a sense of feeling through them. Admittedly, this is going to be a bit more difficult and also um, because of all the way the plastic bags are, but if you want to start to get a sense of how it feels to have the stiffer one on top of a softer one, um, not necessarily expecting you to be able to pick out which one has water versus gel like this. If you can do that, then kudos to you. Um, but just to start to get a sense of layers. And in the next video, I will talk a bit more about uh, what we call layered palpation or trying to make sense of things underneath things and between things.